best advice for you would be to identify your slope and your y-intercept. So in this case, my m is going to be a negative 3 over 1. All right. Again, if you don't have your slope as a fraction, rewrite it as a fraction. If it's a whole number, always put it over 1. Now, a lot of students say, well, the negative's in front. Should the negative go above or the negative go below? And my answer or response to that is it doesn't matter. Negative 4 over 2 is equal to 4 over negative 2, which is equal to negative 2. Do you guys agree? It doesn't matter if the negative's up top or bottom. Okay? That's all just going to depend on how you guys want to graph. And the y-intercept is the coordinate point 0, 6. So when you're going to go ahead and graph this, we create a x and a y-axis that I did not create for you. And then we simply plot the point 0, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use, well, first of all, when you have a negative slope, you either want to determine should the negative be up top or should it be below. And just pick. I'll have the negative be below. That means it's going to tell me to rise 3 and then um, run negative 1. So from this point, I can go up 3 units, 1, 2, 3. And then run negative is going to be to the left. So I'll go up 3 to the left 1. All right. You could also have this as a negative 3 over 1, which would tell you to go down 3 to the right 1. And 1, 2, 3. Hmm, my graph's not really that good. And remember, you always do your slope from your y-intercept. And then you simply just go ahead and connect your points, which I didn't do the best graph. But does anybody have any questions on this? No? Good? OK. Well, that was quick and easy.